so I, I, I was scared to death. I also, because I was, because I had this embodiment of a woman who was an ordained minister, I started to think that maybe God hated me. Um, because I, you know, I just thought, ah. So I was struggling with all that. I was struggling with my sexuality and my vocation at the same time. You know, I'm one of the only people I know, anyway, in, in discerning vocation. I went to see the bishop before I went to see the rector, who was my father at that time. <laughs> <laughs> so I saw um, the, the late, great Bishop Suffragan of Muir, Harold Wright. Oh. And I sat down with Bishop Wright, and we had a prayer. And, um, and um, you know, it was like a, a 4 o'clock appointment. And for um, the first 55 minutes of the hour long appointment, we talked about, I don't know, world peace or something. <laughs> and, and, and then, sort of in the last five minutes, I said, I sort of closed my eyes, I said, You know, I think I have a vocation to the priesthood, and I want you to know I'm a lesbian. And if this church can't support me anymore, then you need to tell me sooner rather than later, because then I have to find another church to, where I can discern vocation. And he said, I thought so. <laughs> New York, and um, I got some life experience, you know, and um, went back to seminary um, in the fall of 1979. Now, notice I came into seminary in 1976. General convention had been held in, in Minneapolis and it regularized the ordination of women in that um, particular general convention. And in 1979, a couple of things happened. There have been hearings in, re in more recent times at general convention. But, boy, it was chaired, that, that whole hearing was chaired by the late Bishop John Coburn uh, of the Diocese of Massachusetts. And he was very um, conservative on this issue. And uh, instead of accepting the Bob Spears report as, as it was written, which said,